the fridge juice for one dollar. He's got the big iron if you're into that. You take one sip and one more sip. Pretty soon you're chugging another whole bag. It's Lemon Demon. Lemon Demon. It's Lemon Demon. You can never resist the lemonade. It's Lemon Demon It's Lemon Demon Lemon Demon Lemon Demon Lemon Demon Lemon demon caught you stealing from the lemonade stand You can't take one without paying, you might lose your hand It's lemon demon Lemon demon It's lemon demon He's a little over such a It's lemon demon Lemon It's lemon demon It's Lemon Demon It's Lemon Demon It's Lemon Demon Did I mention that it's Lemon Demon in the first set of Monty Mom? will not find a single seat, there is no pulp to make you choke, drink from the lemon demon's eyes, this isn't any little joke, he collects a thousand souls a week, at the very, very least, it's awful thirsty here in the belly of the beast. Ow! It's lemon demon, lemon it's lemon demon, you can never resist the lemonade, it's lemon demon, lemon it's lemon demon, it's lemon demon. It's Lemon Demon It's Lemon Demon Lemon out of hell You can't ignore those music eyes You must accept it's Lemon Lies Ten thousand plastic eyeballs float It's a grim prediction, but I told you so And everyone says that there's no explanation And nobody wanted to know Something's terribly, terribly wrong with me <laughs> Ten thousand light years away Feelings of dread like a deathbed silence There's a lucid feeling of insanity And everyone says that there's no explanation And it's simply the norm to agree Just several weeks ago There was a status quo Ten thousand light years away
terribly, terribly good and quite misunderstood. Ten thousand light years away. Ten thousand light years away. Okay, the other night, I mean, like, last night, I had the most screwed up dream ever, ever. I mean, it was like a freaking acid trip. Not that I, uh, advocate, uh, drugs, because drugs are bad and stuff. Anyway, my dream, my dream was like, I, um, I was in a warehouse. And there were all these guys in Santa suits doing this sort of big dance thing, and they couldn't see me or something, I don't know. And then one of the Santa guys was, like, a really fat guy, and he didn't, and he didn't want to do the dance, and he, uh, he was the only one who could see me. So he was like, look, look. 
but no one else could see me, so I started, he started chasing me, chasing me. And I was like in a car, but he was faster than the car. And suddenly he jumped out in front of me, in front of the car, and he started screaming, only it was like a Bigfoot scream. And it sounded so creepy coming from a uh, Santa guy. In the dream, I was like, ah, and I hit the brakes, only the uh, brake pedal was broken, and it was like, actually a gas pedal. So I plowed over the Santa guy, and he went, on, he went under the front tires, and then under the back tires. And then for some reason, when he hit the back tires, the front of the car flew up, and then I was suddenly in a flying car, it was like a hovercraft. And then there was this big part that I can't really remember, but I was in, a, uh, in the hovercraft thing, and I was like, uh, looking for this house. When I finally got to the house, like, I, there was a button on the door, and I pressed the button, the door opened, and a freaking scary old dead guy uh, popped out the door, he was on rockets. And he grabbed me, but I got loose, and I ran into the house, and I hid in the bathroom. But there were these, like, uh, TVs in the bathroom, and then something happened, I'm not sure what happened, but I was in, like, a bowling alley, and there was all, all the bowling balls were, uh, uh, dead president heads. And then I started shrinking, and the Abraham Lincoln head tried to eat me, and then I woke up. It was really scary. Believe me, I find that everybody gets three wishes. Despite this, life sucks and that's what makes me so suspicious. The radio goes off and on and when it's on we see the light. Despite this, we're still in the dark which only makes it fun to fight. Delightful, we're here, we're crazy SOBs with voices Revolving, not solving anything with broken choices Instead of peaceful coexistence Many feelings must be hurt An outside race would quickly know We're only worth our weight in dirt Peace. 
shallow graves Made to be our slaves But they won't They don't need my brain long. I was once like you Or you were once like me And finally cracks And it really packs a punch But Don't you be fretting now You're forgetting now All right Pepper and salt they say Keeps the dead away Keeps the dead away at night Watching dawn of the dead While I stand on my head Ooh, ooh. Dig you down in the dumps Wait till dead person jumps on you When a zombie picks you up and fetches up in your head You find your it isn't my fault Some pepper and salt Are to cast them away Do you know what I mean When I speak of machine or hoe? It's a symptom of fear It's a black magic gear, no It's not the dawning of the full moon Much like a monsoon or a typhoon This isn't my fault Some pepper and salt Are to make them all go I tried to write some lyrics, but I didn't last too long. So I figured, why not sing about me trying to write a song and stuff? And I decided to keep on singing until I had had enough. But then I realized this song needs a hook. An ironic little self-referential catchy freaking hook. So I made the chorus all about how this song needs a hook. An ironic little self-referential hook. And a guitar solo. to tune this. Okay. Ugh. Stop that. Alright, uh. Oh, I know. Let's do the, um, the bridge. Bridge. Yeah, bridge. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Hello? Fine. Oh. Baby, tell me why Why do they call it a bridge anyhow? You cannot walk on it It doesn't have a guardrail It doesn't even hold many cows This song is sort of caving in on itself And so is going to end right now
Burning parasites I'll be hoping for rain tonight Maybe time will extinguish me But no one knows where this time may be Spontaneous combustion of the soul Love, pain, and such emotions of a cold
I like using metaphors, so sue me. The flames represent something deep. And fire is perfect because it's bright yet gloomy. It could be anything, but suicide would be quite a leap. Spontaneous combustion of the soul. Love, pain, and such emotions of the cold. And hugs and teddy bears with hearts for eyes, flames and screams, apocalyptic fire raining from the skies. Oh, <laughs> 
Body slam the rubber ducky just like in the match of Earth versus Funny. Lucky, lucky, nice two new two. I need T for two. How about you, Mr. Coldheart? Or should I say, Professor? It looks like Lesko got revenge on my dresser. Cubs and Neil, he's the real deal. His friends all call him Mr. Peel. He's a computer geek who doesn't shower for a week. He looks so hot and his clothes are chic. He's single handed, he came to face the net. He's an online savage celebrity you won't forget. He's done really seem like a raging friend and a senior news flag. Hey, kids, come in order. Come in your Pokemon Halibudo. Halimarishita. Gonna miss me the water, go get ready to rumble! Bamba Zita, Babala Bita, Hanamana Gita, 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 Hanamana Gita,
You think you know bad, huh? You're a f***ing choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! A choir boy! A choir, choir, choir boy! You think you know bad, huh? A choir boy!